Neom is a futuristic city idea from Saudi Arabia, with places like the line, Trojina, Sindala, and Oxygen. They started building it last year, and many people saw videos about it. But now, it's hard to know how far they've gone with the construction. What's the latest on this? Let's see. However, before we begin our video, we would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel and also press the bell icon. Let's get started. In 2021, Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman introduced a big project called The Line. This is planned as a long city of 100 kilometers stretching from the Red Sea to near Tabak. They want two huge buildings side by side in the city. The idea is that everything you want is close by. There won't be cars, roads, or pollution. People talked a lot about this after seeing drone videos of the site in October 2022. But what's happening there now? We need to check the latest updates. The line project in Saudi Arabia has made good progress in the last year. A recent chat with the project's main person tells us they've finished about 20% of the main work. This includes roads, office spaces, and key spots for more building. We can see these changes in pictures taken from the sky. If you compare these with last year's pictures, there's a big difference. One part, called Neom Community One, is now like its own little city. It has many homes, a school, a place of worship, a mail center, small shops, and even a bus stop. They also have a Starbucks there. The Lime Project has made a lot of progress this year. If you look at Google Maps, you can see the basic shape of it from start to finish. There's a part called the Hidden Marina that they're working on by the coast. When it's done, it'll be the biggest marina in the world. It'll be so big that it can hold ships twice as big as the largest cruise ship, called the Wonder of the Seas. Right now, they are digging a huge amount of dirt out for this marina. They're removing about 1 million cubic meters every week. Last year, they started putting down deep supports for the main structure. In the past year, they've put down over 4,500 of these supports in a part of the line called Module 43. Sometimes, they put in more than 60 supports in just one day, and they plan to work even faster in the coming months. The line's underground train system, called the Spine, has changed a lot. As of June 2023, they've made the whole system smaller. The underground tunnels are now 30 kilometers shorter, and there are fewer stations, from 48 down to 9. So how is Saudi Arabia paying for all of this, and which companies are helping? The line and the bigger project, Neom, get their money from the Public Investment Fund. This is a big fund controlled by the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia. Right now, they have $700 billion, and this money is pushing the project forward. They are working with some big companies for digging and building the foundations. These include Keller Group from the UK, Bauda from Germany, and Bachi Solitange from France. Power China, owned by the state, is working on the marina, and there's a new contract for a fast train line. Italian company Webuild and a Saudi company called Sajco will build it to connect the line with Oxygen. Despite the progress on the line project in Saudi Arabia, there are concerns. Some question its promise of being environmentally friendly. The project might produce as much CO2 as four times the UK's yearly emissions. People also worry about human rights issues. Some locals reportedly had to leave their homes for the project. The UN mentioned that some protesters faced harsh punishments, with a few even at risk of execution. These issues might not only harm the project's reputation, but also make it hard to get money from global investors. Trojina is a new luxury winter and skying place in a big desert with mountains. It's part of Neem's big plans. What's special about Trojina is that Saudi Arabia needs to finish it in only six years because they'll host the Asian Winter Games in 2029. They got permission to host these games after a big decision last year. The Crown Prince first talked about Trojina in 2022, just before they got the games. Trojina is 50 kilometers from the Red Sea and is in some of Saudi Arabia's tallest mountains. Trojina is being built quickly since its announcement. In the last year, they dug out a lot of the mountain area for their plans. They've removed 1.6 million cubic meters of stuff to make a big man-made lake in the middle. There's also the vault, which is like a village inside the mountains. They've taken out more than a million cubic tons from the mountains for it. They've also started building the foundation for a ski village. In November 2022, a big luxury company called Ennismore teamed up with Trojina. They want to build two fancy hotels in the ski village. Another company, Minor Hotels, also wants to open a top-notch resort near the water. 
Right now, the building plans are moving forward fast. In just a year, there's been a lot of work done. Saudi Arabia is working hard to be ready by 2029. Even though they're dedicated to their deadline, many questions remain. People are skeptical about Trojina's ability to keep a winter spot in such conditions. It's cold in the mountains, but it hardly snows. To make it work as a ski place, they have to use machines that make fake snow. These machines need lots of water and power. What's more, they plan to use seawater from the Red Sea for this. They need to move this water a long way and also clean it first. Now, about Cinderella. This is another big project in Neom being built right now. It's a fancy island resort near the city shore. The island is close to the Red Sea and you can get there by boat, seaplane or the nearby Neom Bay airport. Cinderella aims to be a top spot for yachts with a big marina that can hold 86 boats. The island will have three fancy hotels, a golf course, and many high-end eateries and shops. Though it was only announced last year, Cinderella is set to be the first part of Neom to open. They hope to have visitors by 2024. How well Cinderella does is crucial for Neom. Its opening will give people their first taste of this modern city. Cinderella is quickly being built and is set to open soon. If you look at pictures from above on Google Maps, you can see a lot of the island is under construction. They've made roads and planned where buildings will go. Some places near the boat area look almost done. They even started on the golf course. Marriott, a big hotel company, plans to open three fancy hotels there. They believe they'll be ready by 2024. Close to Sendela, there's a whole area made for people working on the project. It has offices, places for workers to live, and other necessary things. Cinderella is the most advanced project in Neom right now. Next, there's another big project in Neom called Oxygen. It's like a floating city for businesses on the country's west coast. In simple terms, Oxygen is meant to be Neom's center for business and industries. It's placed in a busy boat route and will focus on new types of businesses like green energy. The main part of Oxygen will be the port of Neom, which is the main area for industry and shipping in the future city. Saudi Arabia is spending $2 billion USD on this, and they plan to open the first part of the port by 2025. Oxagon won't just be about business. It will be a lively city with places for people to live, have fun, and visit. Some big hotel companies, like IHE Hotels and Resorts, Curtain Hospitality, and Yotel, plan to be part of this. They hope to open their places between 2025 and 2026 in the first neighborhood of the city. Even though there hasn't been much news about building Oxygen, we can see from pictures taken from space that some work has started around the port of Neom. Some of these buildings used to be part of an older port called Duba Port, but now they're part of the new one. A bit to the south, there's a new community being built for Oxygen. It's like the ones for the Line and Cinderella, but of all the projects in Neom, this one seems to have the least progress so far. From what's being built, it looks like Saudi Arabia is really working on making their plans come true. We'll have to wait and see how it all turns out. I hope you liked this video update. Would you like more videos like this? What are your thoughts on N.E. Owens projects? Share your opinions in the comments. We love hearing from you. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next video.